Welcome to another MaxGain Systems installation series video. We will be installing a PL259 connector onto RG214 coax. This coax has a double braid that does not allow for most PL259 connectors to be installed due to its slightly larger diameter. The MaxGain Systems PL259 can be easily installed with little adjustments made to the standard stripping dimensions. Now let's get started with our installation. We start out by separating the outer shell of the PL259 by simply unscrewing it. Place the outer shell on the coax. Grab the main PL259 body and line up the center pin with the end of the coax. Place a mark or use your thumbnail to mark where to cut the black jacket of the coax, which should be one and a quarter inches from the fresh cut end of the coax. Grab your knife or utility blade to cut around the coax where you marked it. Cut through the outer black jacket only. Pull off the jacket you just cut. Grab the main PL259 body again and line up the center pin with the end of the coax. Cut the braid back three quarters of an inch from the end of the coax. Grab the main PL259 body again and line up the center pin with the end of the coax. Place a mark or use your thumbnail to mark just below the second knurled ring of the PL259 or 5 eighths of an inch from the end of the coax to show where to cut through the dielectric. Grab your knife or utility blade to cut around the coax where you marked it. Cut down to the center conductor trying not to nick or score the center conductor. Grab the dielectric piece we just cut with the pair of pliers. Pull and twist to the right clockwise to make sure the center pin stays straight. Finish trimming off any long pieces of braid so they cannot get near the center pin. The center pin and the braid must never be able to make contact. Again, be sure the center conductor is straight before proceeding. Grab your PL259 inner body and with a twisting motion to the right or clockwise, begin to thread it onto the coax. You may need a pair of pliers, as I did here, to get the center conductor through the end of the center pin of the PL259. You should see the center conductor of the cable aligned with the end of the PL259 center pin. If there is any extra, just trim it off with your cutters. Make sure you have a safe place to solder. I am using a larger pair of diagonal cutters to elevate the work. When you start soldering, be sure to tin the iron. Place a small amount of solder on the tip of the iron and wipe off both sides. Now place a small amount of solder back onto the tip of the iron and touch it to the inside of the center pin. Make sure to heat the pin before touching the solder to it. Do not get impatient and let the iron melt the solder. This allows for cold solder joints which are not ideal. You must let the work melt the solder. The center pin of the MaxGain Systems PL259 is held in place with high heat resistant Teflon and can withstand the heat of any iron and will not melt like others. It just needs a little bit of solder to seal it and make a good connection.
Now wipe and retin your soldering iron. We are moving on to the holes around the body. Touch your iron to one side of the hole, which allows for half of the hole to remain free. Once the work is hot enough to melt the solder, place the solder on the work, but not the iron. Use just enough solder to fill the hole. We want to repeat this three more times and fill every hole around the PL-259 body. Now we want to test our work and make sure we do not have any internal shorts. Grab an ohm meter and set it to the lowest ohm scale. Touch the two leads together and it will show you little to no resistance. This is what you do not want to see in your installation. Touch one lead to the body and one lead to the center pin of the connector. My meter is reading that there is infinite resistance so my installation is in perfect working order. Be sure to turn off your meter when done to conserve its battery. Now be careful not to touch the main body of the PL259, but grab the outer shell we placed on the cable earlier and slide it up onto the PL259 main body. Heat will transfer quickly, so let the connector cool before attempting this. Screw the outer shell of the PL259 onto the main body. You have just completed the installation of a PL259 connector onto RG214 coaxial cable. If this video helped you, be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks! We'll see you next time.